Hello everyone, my name is Maria and I'm a student from the Cabrini School. In this video, I'm going to explain you my personal experience and opinion about the usage of digital tools to improve English learning. First, I'd like to talk to you about our most recent experience. If you are sick or isolated and you cannot go to school, how do you communicate with your teacher and friends? It's easy with our digital educational platform. You can send an email, text a message, Moreover, you can even follow the lessons from your computer as we did during the pandemic. Another good example of how useful digital tools can be is that this year we are studying two different subjects with digital contents using laptops instead of paper books. Now picture this. You're on holidays and you want to practice your English having a good time. Digital video streaming lets you watch some videos and series in English adding subtitles if you need to. Perhaps you prefer good literature and a great book, then imagine that you are in the most exciting chapter of your book, but you don't understand a word. What do you do? You could take a dictionary. No, too heavy. Or you could just Google the meaning online, on a dictionary, of course. These are the today tools, but I have a great idea. We are digital natives, so we should be broad-minded. I do believe in international teamwork, and we can start right now through video conferences with children from other countries. We would learn much more than a language. As you can see, digital tools are incredible and give us lots of chances, but we must use them carefully. Internet is full of fake news, low quality information, hackers, and many dangers. In short, by using digital tools correctly, we can improve our English and make it easier and more amusing. Always be improvement. I hope you have my, enjoyed my presentation as much as I have.